are built up by the abiding word. Acts chapter 20 and verse 32. So now, brethren, I commend you to God and to the word of his grace, which is able to build you up and give you an inheritance among all those who are sanctified. As we talk about and consider the importance of the abiding word through the course of this week, where we just let us know or remind ourselves uh, how important it is to have God's word living, dwelling uh, in us. Uh, we bring our attention here to Acts 20 verse 32, where the apostle Paul is, is giving his final words or remarks to the leaders of the church in Ephesus. And as part of his final or closing farewell speech, Paul points them to the word. He says, brethren, I am commending you to God and to his word of grace and to the word of grace, because his word was able to build you up and to give you an inheritance among all those who are sanctified by faith in Christ. Now, this word, the word of God, if it is abiding in us, it's dwelling in us. What does it do? It builds us up. It makes us strong. It helps us to grow spiritually, increases our spiritual strength, increases our spiritual capacity. Uh, it increases uh, our spiritual capability, what we can do spiritually. The Word of God is able to build you up. And so Paul says, I'm commending you to that. I'm, I'm, I'm just asking you to be focused, to stay on that, to steady yourselves in this, the word of his grace. Let that word dwell in you richly because his word is able to build you up. And then he also says very something very interesting. It is able to give you an inheritance. Now, when you read Paul's epistles, you'll find he, he states that we have obtained an inheritance or he, God has qualified us to be partakers of the inheritance. In other words, he's saying, look, this inheritance already has your name on it. You are already an heir of God and a joint heir with Christ. This inheritance is already yours, but something has to happen for us to be able to walk in our inheritance. So he says, the word of God is able to give you an inheritance. This inheritance is yours, but God's word is able to build us up so that we can actually walk in our inheritance, that we can actually possess our inheritance, enjoy our inheritance. So you see, having that word, the word of God abiding in us is so important because God's word is what builds us up spiritually and God's word is what enables us to walk in our spiritual inheritance, which our heavenly father has already given to us. We are already co-heirs with Christ. That means everything that is Christ is ours. The firstborn gets the inheritance in Christ. We partake of his. It's like we are the firstborn in Christ. And so whatever has been given to the firstborn, Jesus Christ, is ours as well. And so we're co-heirs, we're joint heirs, we share in that same inheritance. But in order to walk in it, it's the word that's gonna build us up and enable us to walk in that inheritance. Let the word of Christ abide in you richly. Take time to fill your spirit with his word. Take time to meditate, take time to listen, fill your life with the Word of God. It builds you up and enables you to walk in your inheritance. Let's pray. Lord, we pray and ask that you will increase our love for your Word. And we pray that your Word will dwell in us richly, that we'll put a rich deposit of your Word in our hearts for reading it, meditating in it, listening to it. And thank you that your Word builds us up in Jesus' name, amen. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.